Hello everyone and just want to say thanks to everyone who watches my videos and uh, it really is appreciated leaving the comments and you know at the moment I am really feeling it the weather's really knocking me back I'm really feeling down in the dumps but anyway your comments really brighten me up so anyway it's raining well it's just a brief period where it's just drizzle at the minute but we're expecting the heavy rain to come again you can see it's so soggy but what I thought I'd do is take you around the plot uh, bit by bit so you can see what's happening right in this raised bed here I've planted seeds direct and um, we've got a combination of runner beans and climbing French beans uh, and I've, as you can see I've labelled them up so on this side we've got the runner beans um, Scarlet Emperor and I know on the other side there I've got some uh, climbing dwarf beans I don't know whether I've labelled them up and it looks as though the birds birds had that I'm going to stick that back in oh yeah um, oh all I've put down is climbing French bean but anyway we've got uh, around here I can see we've got one two three four five um, six seven eight nine ten. we've got ten plants so we should get some on there and around here again you can see that we've got uh, lots of climbing French beans in here some which have been grown from seed and some which I've just stuck the plants in and I think you can see the slugs have been at it, snails it's a good job I've put some slug pellets on there in fact I've not done that on the other ones and here we've got the broad beans um, these were these were passed on to me by somebody else so I planted those in here I've also got some, uh, well that that one there, hey I can use the uh, zoom can I, that one's, um, that one's a French bean and then I was given these uh, beetroots so I've stuck those in here and you can see they're making nice plants as well now. Um, the currants, uh, which are obviously all these three possibly no, these three here are currants um, and I think I showed you the other day that we did have some on yeah look, can you see that? there we are okay it was, they were bought from Aldi so you don't expect a great deal uh, well we do actually because Aldi stuff is brilliant but uh, um, a lot of my fruit well most nearly all my fruit bushes you know whether it's blackberries Logan berries uh, all these uh, currants uh, and all the other plants what are around here the gooseberries and the yellow raspberries and that uh, they were all bought from there um, anyway in here I've got my kohlrabi uh, this is a, pl uh, a plant vegetable that my mum loves um, my mum's uh, from northern Germany and uh, over, uh, over there it's, um, it's, it's like a delicacy you know they, it's something what they really uh, enjoy and these you know are expensive you go into uh, Morrison's and that last year they were £1.50 each you know and I've got 15 plants in here so there you are that's a bit of a saving these are runner beans and uh, you can see from here I'm going to have to stick another support around there probably to give them a helping hand although the ones over there are growing nicely up so uh, we'll have to see see how those go right take you take you over here just got a couple of uh, troughs you remember the plants what I grew the little plug plants well there you are that's what they look like in uh, in a trough unfortunately not at the best at the minute but doing all right 
Right, these fruit trees, well, this one here, this was bought from Aldi back in March, I believe, and it's a conference pear. You can see it's doing nicely. Don't, they won't be getting anything off that this year, but uh, that's fine. Over here, I've got my um, my curly kale and one or two kohlrabis. And then we've got a Victoria plum tree, which did have some flowers on, but silly me, uh, knocked the branch, didn't I? Uh, knocked them all off. Never mind. Um, and an apple Brayburn. Ah, so the the blossoms starting to come off, and uh, oh, I don't know whether I can't really tell yet whether we've got whether the apples are forming or whether or not. We'll have to see. Wait a bit longer. Got another conference pear, and that's another Victoria plum. So that'll be for the future. And then over here we've got some cabbages. You can see that they're coming on nicely, and we've also got some. Hang on a minute, turnips. I believe they were, which I stuck in the middle. <laughs> never grown them before. Didn't expect they would be uh, that big, but no mind. You learn, don't we? And look at these cabbages, Carl, aren't they? They're coming on. I think these were greyhound, if I remember right. We've got the greyhound and hispy, so it's one or the other, but I think they're greyhound. So, yeah, quite chuffed with those. The, uh, you can see, I've got one or two strawberries out here coming. Um, more strawberries over there actually they're starting to change colour aren't they won't be long before we get some red ones there um, I should have to tell you that they were in the polytunnel and uh, I moved them out because um, it was getting a bit crowded yeah so these are all my raspberries um, and these will take a couple of years to develop um, In fact, we have got uh, fruit forming on them. And, uh, so yeah, we'll have a few. But, uh, I've got them all along here. Uh, yeah, I know we've got some dead canes, and uh, to be honest with you, I'm a bit of a novice at those. Didn't know what to do. Should have been cut down, but I'll leave them for now. Don't want to damage anything, and uh, I'll alter them later. This is the rhubarb what I grew from seed last year and you can see it's, it's made some big plants yeah it's gone to seed I'm not bothered about that because I want to collect the seed so that's why I've left it uh, it's just a sacrifice I have to make this year got some more co uh, kohlrabi in here and we've got broad beans I don't know how these are growing because these are, these had the flowers on. I don't know whether. Or did they have the flowers on? I can't remember. Look at the lettuce. I reckon some of that could be picked, don't you? I mean, I'm. I, I, what I should tell you is, I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a vegetable eater. Uh, I'm a meat eater, so I grow all these uh, veggie nut for my parents. Um, there's very little veg what I actually eat. Uh, potatoes is my main thing, but after last year's disaster, I've not bothered really growing them apart from the ones in the polytunnel. And to be honest with you, they're not looking that great. Lots of leaves and no produce. So. I might stick them outside let them be, so they can get a bit of rain on them. This is the rhubarb what I've been eating. We've been having a nice crop. Just look at the how everything's growing and the weeds. Oh, you just can't get on top of it with this weather. And the raised bed, uh, not the raised bed, the vertical strawberry bed. Look at that. Don't they look lush? So 
you've even got one or two weeds growing in there, I'll have to pull those out. In fact, uh, while I'm thinking about it, Struggling a bit to get to those, but oh well, I'll get up. Uh. Now just look at that. Zoom in a bit so you can see a bit better. The strawberries. That one there, yeah, that one there, and those two there seem to produce masses last year. Now I can tell that those two there, you can see that they've got different colour leaves. In fact, in this weather, you can actually uh, you can tell there's a variation. But anyway, that. that doing? Oh, you see that? Not far off. Don't know what they think to the weather. There's one down there. Can you see it? Can't really see. Yeah, they're down there. Now let's zoom out. Now you see this? This is Graham's got this plot now. When I took my allotments on, Graham was here, he's had his plot for years. And this was, this area, apart from a bit what he'd done along the fence and up into my area, um, was overgrown to about chest height. Um, he couldn't, it was, yeah, probably even higher than that. In fact, that bin, I'll just, that, um, The uh, wheelbarrow down there, you could not, you, you could not, he did, he'd lost that, he thought he'd lost it because it was so buried. And everyone said how, how much of an influence having me moved here has made because he's actually, he's, he's cleared it. Okay, it's not done properly and he's got a funny way of doing things. But he's done it, and uh, I'm just hoping he might do a nice square edge to the path. I keep hinting on it by just moving it a bit myself, but, but it, this is the, this is far better than last year. So yeah. Oh, and he's even he's even cut the grass back because I didn't do that. I started down this bit. Brilliant. Ah, well chuffed with that. The, the strawberries, don't think they liked it. They were looking a bit funny, so I've stuck them out here. And they're not looking great now either, are they? No, I don't know. Maybe that's something which I've... Uh, I've lost. I, 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 maybe they were too dry, or they could have been too wet, I don't know. Then we'll have to see. They'll, they'll either survive or they won't. It's uh, not really any loss to me because I grew them from seed. Um, and that's what it's all about, learning process. Um, I won't bother showing you around the polytunnel um, because I don't think there's going to be much in there to show you. I will leave that for another day. So anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget to, uh, if you're interested in following my blog or my, um, or on Google Plus, I've got the links on my 
page on my YouTube page. Okay, thanks. Bye.